welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today, we're in my favorite car of all time, a 2015 Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS, 370 kilowatts, 400 newton meters of torque. Those numbers propel this car from zero to 100 in 3.2 seconds flat. This is a two-seater coupe. Now, the old AMGs are known for biting the hand that feeds them, so to say. Those cars would punish you if you didn't know what you were doing and this car is nothing like that. Those numbers might be intimidating, but driving this car could fool you into thinking you're driving a coupe, driving a cruiser, until you switch this dial into sport or race mode. The exhaust mode livens up, the handling tightens up and you know immediately you are driving nothing other than a supercar. Guys, we're gonna show you around this car. We're gonna show you some of the coolest features, some of the nicest buttons and what it's like to drive this car in traffic as well as what it's like to let it open on the open road. But I wouldn't be here uh, and we wouldn't be looking at this car if it wasn't thanks to the people and Dominique especially from the guys at Prestige Marks. This place is the home to the finest cars in South Africa. If you are looking, your friends are looking, your family's looking, if anybody's looking to treat themselves, not only to supercars, but any single car of your dreams, the guys at Prestige Marks have got it all. So give them a shout, they'll happily organize you a test drive. But right now, we are heading to Bryanston. We're gonna show you one of the newest and most exclusive developments in Bryanston. It's a beautiful home, and we're gonna be taking you there in the most beautiful car. So let's go. Let me talk a little bit more about this car and the first thing you'll notice as you step into it is your central bridge, the eyes drawn there and there's a whole bunch of buttons and dials. The first one that I want to mention is probably the most important and that is your drive mode selector. And on that drive mode selector you've got five different options. The first being individual and that is a drive mode that you can customize to your liking. Maybe you'd like your handling to be on sport, your suspension to be on comfort and your throttle response to be on race. You can set that up and save it right there so it's always immediately selectable. We've then got Comfort, which is self-explanatory, and that's the mode I'm driving in right now. You've got Sport and Sport Plus, but the final mode is Race. And what that does is it tightens up everything. It lets the exhaust loose, and it gives you a little bit more freedom to let this car go. And Race mode is a very, very special mode to be in. It's not a mode I'm going to try out on the road, but it's definitely a mode if you purchase this car, you should give just a little bit of attention to you because I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Just below that, you've got your engine start stop button. You've got the ability to turn your traction control off. Then you've got the button that tightens up your suspension to a setting you like. On the left hand side, we've got my favorite button and that is the exhaust button. So pressing that button opens up the exhaust flap and lets this V8 bi-turbo really growl. AMG cars are known for how good the exhaust note is and that button steps it up a notch. Above that, you've got your auto stop start. Then you've got your button that puts the car into manual mode if you'd like to control it with your flappy paddle gearbox behind the steering wheel. And this is an Alcantara line steering wheel with your center line, just in case you do want to take this out on the track. And then last but not least, you've got your button controlling your radio. You've got your white lined two-tone leather interior. The seats are all leather with that white interior cream, should I say. It really is quite a nice color inside this car. You've got your Burmeister sound system, leather wrap dash, all of your park control, your park distance control. There's no way you're going to be bumping into anything within this car. Then you've got dual zone climate control, which is really nice if you're going to take this car out on a cruise. Does but that does sum it up for the inside. It's a comfortable, quiet, luxurious place to be for what is all intents and purposes, a supercar. There's nothing about driving this that feels you, like you can't do it on a day-to-day -day basis. We've got a Lamborghini Gallardo passing us right now, which is awesome. But now let's talk about the exterior. So the exterior, you have got absolutely enormous brakes. I think these brakes are about the size of a normal Polo's wheel. Then you've got the styling. This styling leaves nothing to the imagination. You know you're driving a fast car, and anybody that sees you knows you're driving a fast car. You've got your rear wing that deploys at a certain speed, I believe it's 120. You've got your front LEDs, and you have got yourself this beautiful white AMG GTS. There's nothing about this that I wouldn't like about parking into my garage every single day. And guys, in the comments, let me know. Is this your dream car as well? And if it is, give us a thumbs up, give us a heart, but here we are, right outside our home of the day, located in Bryanston. So we're going to park this baby, we're going to jump out, and we're going to show you what it's like living in this new development right here in the heart of Bryanston.
And here we are, we have parked the Mercedes-Benz. We've jumped out of it and we're walking in to what you'll now know as Skywood. This is one of the latest developments in Bryanston and this unit is a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom type A unit. There are three different unit types available in Skywood. A type A, B and C. The type A is going for 3,945,000 but you can buy into Skywood starting from 2,840,000 and here we are. We've just walked through the entrance hall. You can see the staircase behind me on the left. Glass railings there. Because this is a development, what's so important to note is you can spec these units out to your liking. You can choose what floors you like, what concrete you like, what tile backings, splash guards, features walls, all of it. And we're going to be showing you some of the coolest stuff in this apartment. But here we are, right here in the lounge area, plenty of space for whatever kind of lounge setup you like. And also a lot of space here. Right now you can see we've got a kitchen table in here. This could easily fit four people. Again, probably easily six. I love the space in the unit. I love the light. And I definitely love the way they've done the marble in the kitchen. Take a look at this marble font here. We've got Smeg burner there. You've got access to your garden. You've also got that chef's sink, as I'd mentioned, recessed into that beautiful marble. Some shelving is done, window access into the garden, and plenty of cupboard space, both above the counter as well as below the counter. You've got your drawers there with soft close mechanisms, as well as plenty of space in the pantry for your dishwasher and your washing machine, all plumbed, easy to put in, easy to take out. When I walked in, I told you, because this is a development, there's so much you can customize. So let's talk about some of the things that have been customized in this house here. This downlighting, customizable. You get to choose what kind of downlighting you like. The glass railings on the stairwell, customizable. You get to choose what glass railings you like. Then, we've got bulkhead ceilings above us with recessed LED lighting. Again, you can choose whether you want it or don't want it. Another really, really cool feature within this whole house is every single window and sliding door you see is double paned imported Italian, which means not only is it very, very high quality, but it keeps the cool in during the summer and the heat in during the winter, which is gonna save you a lot on your electricity bill. But come over here, we've got a perfect little scullery here. Now, as you've noticed, on the right hand side, you've got a chef's sink recessed into the marble. But here, away from prying eyes, we've got your double din sink with very, very fancy taps. Take a look at this. A small push gets you your cold water, but if you push it a little bit harder, that gives you your hot water. The thought process behind that is to save you electricity on not wasting hot water when you're just opening your tap, preferably for some cold water. And then rounding off your kitchen, you've got space here for your double door fridge, surrounded by even more cupboard space, just in case you need it. Now, this is what's gonna round off the downstairs area. Right over here, you've got access to your garage. I'm gonna be showing you that in a moment. And downstairs, this is where you find your half bathroom. And something to note about this half bathroom is just how large it is. So often these are just cramped into a corner, but this one's got plenty of space, plenty of light because of the window above the bathroom. Your hidden cistern with all of your flashing mechanisms integrated into the wall. Recessed LED lighting behind the mirror and a floating sink. That half bathroom is one of the most beautifully equipped I've seen. But let's take it upstairs and show you what else this three bedroom, three and a half bathroom unit has got in store for you. And trust me, it's a lot. Coming up the stairs, your eyes automatically drawn to this feature wall here. And this just isn't any feature wall. This is a concrete feature wall that you can expect to your taste. And just below it, you've got a frosted glass window letting in a lot of natural light. So coming up the stairs, you find yourself on the top level and this right here is a pajama lounge. Now both this pajama lounge as well as the first bedroom which you guys are currently standing in, looking at me, have access to an outside balcony. Again, all the windows here are double glazed, keeping you warm during the winter and nice and cool during the summer. So let's go into the first bedroom and see what it looks like. So here we are within the first bedroom and this bedroom easily fits a double bed. You've got cupboard space all the way on the right hand side and a built in desk just in case you want to do any work on the left hand side. But take a look at this bathroom. Behind me it's partitioned by this sliding frosted glass door. And the flooring in this bathroom is incredible. This is what Zotos calls quartz carpet flooring. And you can spec this within your own household and even as one customer has done within the garage. 
You've got your collar taps, and now the collar taps are repeated throughout all the bathrooms as well as the kitchen area. You've then got your floating vanity with your mirror mount there, as well as a standalone bathtub and this is an extra length standalone bathtub you could easily take one of the best soaks there the same thing that is repeated throughout the house is your floating toilet with hidden cistern and then right here walk-in shower framed with glass looking extra beautiful now before we go anywhere let's take a look at that balcony the sliding glass door, a Lumil glass door, that is a brand name of these glass doors, leading out into your balcony. The balcony is again framed with those glass balustrades and you've got a view of the downstairs area. That balcony wraps around from the bedroom into your pajama lounge. So, I've shown you the first bedroom, but there's two more located upstairs that I think you're gonna be very interested in. This one right here would make a perfect guest bedroom another office area or even a kid's bedroom. You've got space here enough for a single bed, a double could probably squeeze in here. You've got plenty of cupboard space and then you've got another one of those double paned imported Italian windows that open outwards, letting in a lot of light, a lot of air, but as soon as it's closed, it shuts off all noise outside. Because this is a development, there's a lot of construction going on and you can't hear a single thing, which is testament to the quality of those windows. Now, over here, plenty of cupboard space. You can spec how you'd like these cupboards to look. I love the custom customizability of a development and what you get to do within here through Zotos. You've got another one of those sliding frosted glass doors partitioning the inbuilt bathroom from the rest of the room. And in that bathroom, again, the incredible quartz carpet, a floating vanity. You've got your mirror right there as well as a walk-in shower and your toilet system. And now, and now, and now it's time for the creme de la creme, the main bedroom. And it's got some really cool features that we've never seen before. So come along. And here we are, as soon as you walk into the master suite, you find yourself in a walk-in closet. What is a master suite on the Home Shopper Show without a walk-in closet? Plenty of closet space behind me, as well as a skylight built in, letting in some light in here, making it seem a lot more airy, a lot more fresh. And here we are within the master bathroom. Look above me. Now this is a real skylight, a real opening. I love it, it's domed, it looks so cool. It makes this bathroom seem so, so fancy specifically for the price point we're coming in. We've got another one of those floating tubs, the beautiful quartz carpet. I actually can't get enough of this. I love it. Guys, in the comments, tell me, you feel the same way or am I just crazy? Double vanity with your cola taps, imported taps, and then you've got your mirror right here with some LED lighting going down there, making it just a little bit more unique. You've got a walk-in shower with beautiful marble. This beautiful marble all over this bathroom. I actually love how it is. Bulkhead ceilings. Your toilet is partitioned off with some more frosted glass and a heated towel rack right over here, giving you that extra bit of luxury. But follow me, because we haven't even shown you the real creme of this creme de la creme. So coming out of the walk-in closet, you'll find yourself within the main suite. Now this main suite is plenty of space around you, mainly because of the walk-in closet, removing that cupboard space from where you'd be sleeping and into that walk-in closet. So I love just how spacious this is. We've got pendant lights that can be spec to your taste right here in the corner, all done for you. And then one of the coolest features is just behind these Illumin sliding doors. So you'll slide that open. And now you see you've got some balcony access. You can do the same right over here. And you can pull it this way. So you can choose how you'd like it open. But for you people that like your area to be as dark as possible when you sleep, you want no traces of light. Not only do you have roll down blinds built in above all of the windows, but you also have these shutters that you can close on both sides and then close this door. And that blocks out all of the light as well as the heat. So on those really, really hot 
summer South African days. Your clothes easier and you'll have such a nice cool master suite. I love that they've thought of this. But down there, just below me as you can see, we've got a garden, we've got a pool area that's also really interesting. So I'm gonna go show you that. But before we go, let me show you the double garage. That double garage currently is spec out as a place for Zotos to sit down potential customers and show them the different offerings and the different specs. So take a look at the video as we scroll through this double garage. Take a look at some of the specs offering. Pause when you need to. And if you want any more information, contact Zotos. They'll happily take you to Skywood, schedule a viewing in this exact apartment and show you how much there is to love about this. But right now, let's go downstairs and let's show you what the garden looks like. And here we are downstairs in the garden area. This patio has a built-in bry with some space underneath for any bry implements you want. And yeah, the garden is, and I love it. It's just enough for a plunge pool. You've got beautiful marble tile backing. Again, I can't mention this enough. Everything can be specced to your liking. And every single unit within Skywood comes with very own inverter, as well as solar and electric geysers. So power is never a worry. But guys, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of The Home Shopper Show. Thank you for myself, Chad. And if you'd like to inquire for Skywood, contact Brian at Zotos Property Group. He'll happily schedule a viewing for you. So, from the team, from myself, from everybody at Private Property, we're gonna see you next time. We love you and goodbye.